This is a short screencast to demonstrate the technique I use to capture and consume notes on the go. I spend a lot of time listening to podcasts while walking, and often I want to make a note about a thought I've had or something that I've heard, but I don't want to fumble with my iPhone screen and keyboard. I'd prefer to capture those notes and then consume them later. So I start the process with Siri uh, and capture notes to the iOS Reminder app. Uh, so we'll add a couple here. So let's start with the first one here. Add Reminder. What are scare quotes? Here's your reminder. Okay. Shall I create it? Yes, let's create it. I've added it. Let's try this again for a second one. Add Reminder, The Signal and the Noise by Nate Silver. Here's your reminder. Shall I create it? Yes. I've added it. Okay. So a couple of notes. Uh, now when I'm ready to review those notes, I just open the Drafts application. And you'll see that it's uh, imported to Reminders there. Because I don't use the reminders for any other purpose, I've set drafts up uh, to just import from the default reminders list, and then it deletes those reminders from that list. If you actually use reminders for its, you know, its normal purpose, then you can use a, a named reminders list. But I find it much easier just to say add reminder instead of specifying the list I want to add to. So those notes now show up in the uh, in the inbox, and we'll take a look at the first one. What I wanted to do there was just a Google search, and I've got a custom application or a custom action set up in the application for that. So let's see what Google says about scare quotes. There we go. Uh, we'll go back to drafts. I have it configured to archive uh, notes once we've taken an action on them. So we'll go back to the inbox. And the second one is a book that I want to read. So I've got an action set up to append that to my books to read list in Evernote. And let's jump over to Evernote and just see that. Books to read. There we go. The Signal and the Noise by Nate Silver. So, there you have it, a quick and easy way to take hands-free notes and deal with them very efficiently later. I should never forget another thing, right? <laughs>